Hey Anne Marie! So it's Wednesday again and I wanted to talk about getting sick. So recently I came down with a cold, more flu-like, um, wasn't really healthy. And it happened the day I got back from being home for the weekend. So I got sick my first time at college. And if and you know me best, and you know that when I am sick, I am literally like a four-year-old. Like, I need people to do things for me, I cry a lot, I get really aggravated, I throw temper tantrums. I hate being sick. More importantly, I hate being sick alone without my mother. Like, this is my first time being sick at college. It's It was new and foreign territory, and, and I didn't like it. I had I was calling my mom like every every other hour and being like mom can I and I'm take this can I do this how do I get better my dad actually called and saying soft kitty to me it makes me feel better I have excellent parents but like being sick at school is like it's the start of adulthood really like I'm going to get sick a lot and I'm not going to be at home anymore where my parents can say, oh, you can stay home from school today. I have to make those decisions myself. And that's terrifying. I had to make the decision whether or not to go to class on Tuesday. And the, the idea that I had that power really kind of scared me. And I didn't know. I was like, mom, should I go to class? And she's like, well, how are you feeling? I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. I like having the power to tell myself what I should and shouldn't do. I spent 18 years of my life with people telling me how I should how I should do things, like at school people telling you what you should be doing, what you should be, how you should be acting, how you should be dressing, and they say they're preparing you for the real world, but they're not preparing you at all. In high school they don't prepare you to get sick on your own and make decisions about whether or not you should come to school or go to class that day. This is all on you, something they did not prepare me for in high school. As a 19 year old girl, that's that is still still terrifying to me, having to make my own decisions and being an adult. Like, mm -mm. I'm not old enough to do that. Sometimes I drive around my car and I'm like, wait, I'm not old enough to be doing this. How did I get old enough to drive? Let alone be alone, sick. Oh, so you might be wondering why I'm accessorizing with this uh, nice, warm, knitted headband today. Well, let me show you. Um, when they told me that I was going to a school that it snows, um, I guess I wasn't prepared for, for that. For, um, it's, it's, it's October, man. There is snow everywhere. Another non-wintery news, um, Allegiant came out yesterday and the world is a buzz with Veronica Roth and what she has done. And no spoilers, I'm not gonna say what she's done. Uh, I, I respect Veronica Roth a lot. I liked what she's done with Divergent and Insurgent. Um, but I, I'm nervous about it. Series finales can be hard and they can be very unsatisfying for a lot of readers and I'm not sure a lot of writers can successfully do it well. I mean, it's been a couple couple years and I'm still not satisfied with Harry Potter. I don't think I'll ever be satisfied with Harry Potter. I'll always want more Harry Potter. I mean, who doesn't want more Harry Potter? Am I right? But anyway, I am feeling a little better. I mean, gotta get over that taking care of myself nonsense and being an adult. Apparently I am one of those now. I don't know when that happened. So I will see you on Sunday. Jan Marie out. Also, one last thing. Everyone should go see the movie About Time. It is amazing. You can probably see that I've been crying because it's so good. So go see it right now. It's so good. You're not going to regret it unless you don't like crying. But it's still really good. Okay, bye.